an interesting place in which one has research going on both in the basic sciences and the clinical sciences, informed to a very significant extent by public health sciences, particularly clinical epidemiology. And the idea is to create a space here where people can transition between basic clinical and public health sciences. So we have a particularly uh, strong activities that are working at the clinical, laboratory and community interface, particularly in tuberculosis, HIV, HIV associated TB, as well as other diseases. And so by bringing together laboratory scientists and clinical scientists, one is able to create the whole as being much greater than the sum of the parts. So I think it is an absolutely essential component of an initiative such as the IDM. My group at UCT uh, is a basic TB research group, which I run together with my colleague Digby Warner. We are focused on studying aspects of the biology of mycobacterium tuberculosis of relevance to drug discovery, drug resistance and mycobacterial persistence. We've had a long-standing and highly productive collaboration with the groups of Helena Boshop and Cliff Barry at the NIH. We are working currently together with them on a drug discovery project that is aimed at identifying new compounds that have antimicrobacterial activity. So the organizations, the Desmond Tutu HIV Center and Foundation, are research-based organizations. Uh, they are affiliated to the University of Cape Town and our prime purpose is to really find better ways of dealing with HIV and TB in this part of the world. So Masa Pumaleli is typical of high burden, low socioeconomic, high density living, the, the sort of typical environment in which tuberculosis thrives. And so we chose that community just because we've worked there for a number of years. Uh, we have a very strong relationship with the community. I am passionate about community development and community participation. And we have had that kind of relationship with Masi over many years. So the idea has been to really work within a community that we know and love and to see a difference uh, over 15 years, um, to see the impact of new innovation, novel discoveries, and, and that we are beginning to see now in Masa Pumaleli. We figured that it would be useful to build a youth centre, a safe place where young people could come. And so the youth centre is, if you like, a partnership between uh, ourselves as researchers, as innovators, and the community who are see also looking for solutions to their challenges and to their problems. So South Africa has a formidable burden of tuberculosis and HIV-associated tuberculosis, which is a paradoxical advantage when considering clinical research. The main advantage of the IDM is that it has state-of-the-art laboratories and facilities that allow us to conduct first-class research, and indeed the IDM houses the largest critical mass of TB researchers on Earth. Clinical trials inevitably lead to uh, improvement of clinical standards and the possibility that our patients could access new treatments as well. The indirect benefits are of greater visibility of the clinic and the region as a whole and also of employment because we employ a considerable number of local employees. I became aware of these very high transmission rates in our general population. This has been recognised, um, children get infected at very, very high rates, so that more than half the population is infected by the age of 14. And we wanted to try and sort out why this was. One of the um, um, components of that is to try and measure exposure of people to TB in the air. So we thought we would go around trying to set up a system to measure airborne tuberculosis. The uh, project which I'm running at the moment puts newly diagnosed TB cases into this um, environment and then we sample the environment as they contaminate it with bacteria and we can demonstrate bacteria by culture, by scanning electron microscopy and by measuring the gene copies of uh, the organism in the air. 
I have great uh, ambition for the IDN in the future. I want us to be seen as the leading postgraduate institute of its kind on the African continent, and one of the best in the world. I want our work to have a major impact on controlling the diseases of prevalence in Africa. And I also want the Institute to be seen as the premier location of choice for the brightest minds across South Africa, Africa and the rest of the world who want to come and do their research on diseases prevalent in Africa by working at the laboratory, clinical and community interface.